Father, I take the holy bread and hold it here. Good morning. I got. I want to show you there the out of an Irish king and the on the Irish flag. The Irish flag is a harp. I'll show you here. That's the Irish flag, the Christian harp, yeah, and it's on the British, uh, it's in the British crown. I'm going to show you here the new Irish flag and witchcraft. Pagan sun worship and the children of Leo. Now here's a, pro uh, there it is again, look. There's the cross cast into the pit, the children thrown face down. The door on the gate of the garden of remembrance there's a crucifix. They throw the crucifix aside and they put you down into the pit to walk past the spiritual to walk past the Christian cross which has been thrown into the pit. It's been discarded. Uh, it's a form of ritual abuse. Now there's the spiritual armor of the Christians inside the cross. So what they're saying here is we've conquered the Christians. We, the pagan sun worshippers, are hidden in here, hidden in plain sight. The cross is being cast into the pit. We worship, we venerate the walk of the witches. But I have some other stuff here. This is much. This is really dark stuff. There's another depiction of the children of Leo and the bulls of Bashan. Now you see that picture there. This one. This is a bull pointing its horns across the street at a child's play school across the river Liffey, which is the Gaelic for the river of life. So it's from the side of the death sticks, they used to call the river of sticks. Cross over at the Christian church and the child's play school. The bull is pointing its horns. And you see the children of Leo, witchcraft, yeah? All the same things. Witchcraft, witchcraft. And there you see the companies in the IFSC house right next to it. And then they've taken the harp, which is the Irish flag. They've made scale, scales, look, reptilian scales on it. And inside it they put, in the name of dead generations, which is the Irish Ishtar. She strikes for her freedom. Now here's the bit in the book of Proverbs warning about the immoral woman. My son attended to the wisdom and inclined your aid of prudence to observe this and the session and to preserve my knowledge. For the lips of an adulterous woman to still honey and husband <coughs> and smoother than oil is her mouth, but her end is bitter as one more sharper than a two edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps cleave to Hades. She is far removed from entering the way of life, her steps are wandering without observation. But here's the rest of it here, look. ways are not known to you, lest you give your years on to strangers and to the cruel. If you got a mortgage, did you get offered a nice, sweet little deal off the off the whore, off the bank, and then the price went up and then people lost their house and all because of ways are movable? What does it say? Oh, strange family whose house take table in the furnace with the fruit of thy care and labours, and thou mourn at last, bitterly bewail thy madness of mi and misery, when it is too late, when the flesh and thy body or even thy body are consumed by those manifold diseases which indulge in the fleshly lust and bring upon the body and say how we hated instructions. This is all in the book of Proverbs. We could go on for ages, but you give your years to the cruel and strangers have the substance of your house. And the bit about eating flesh, what's that all about? Well, the bulls of Basham are the remnant of the giants. There's the temple of Satan. In Dublin, <coughs> that's a temple of Satan in Dublin town. That is actually a temple to Satan. There's a joint meekly of a point. Like they, they put Jesus on the bench, a statue meant to represent Jesus. They put him on the bench, they've made him homeless, they've taken over his church, is what they're saying, and they're gonna chop you all up. That meekly, but is at least three to four for hoy. But here's the anointed chair of Satan. That place is called the Bull and Castle, and above them is the Goat of Memories. So what you have in Ireland is a human sacrifice in 1916 of British and Irish Christian soldiers. 
the, the, the British crown still holds the harp of the flag of David and the Queen sits upon the stone of destiny which is all passed by us Galatians and orders to the crown to the British crown now you see the you see the incantations of the what, what are they pointing the horns at they're pointing the horns at the church and the children's place girl next door straight directly at it across the river life so the dead want to get the church and want to get the children that's what they're saying let's go back to the witchcraft let's go back to the witchcraft of the Oligna Erden in the Garden of Remembrance here look here's how you go through the satanic ritual you walk up to the gate of the Garden of Remembrance you can't walk around the cross you have to go down into the pit they catch my children like wolves and bears they lay traps for them in pits so what the, the gate doesn't open it slides across so on the front of it is a crucifix cast the Christian crucifix aside walk down into the pit where they've placed the Christian cross and the spiritual armour of the Christians there is that spiritual armour yeah so you have to go down into a satanic ritual you go down into the pit with the Christian cross and then you raise back up the far side but above you and above the children is that that's the the children of Lear, they've been cast face down and the walk of the witch is elevated. Now these people here, this symbol, this pagan sun worship, is up on the hills in um, Bashan, in Palestine now, above the Christians and the Jews in um, Jerusalem. And they're the remnant, they've linked up with the Tuat, the Danan who are the witchcraft, the people who practice witchcraft, there was a witch that done that to the innocent children of Leo. They, they've linked up with the bulls of Bashan, Bashan is in Palestine. These law are the remnant of the giants, Jesus says in Psalms 22. There are many strong bulls surround me, bulls of Bashan, and they gape at them. So the remnant of the giants were probably in the crowd while he was getting crucified, they were probably significant in it. In his, in his crucifixion and his persecution because he spared his whole life on the run so that's what you're looking at in Ireland you're looking at a human sacrifice to a pagan goddess and that's all there is to it they throw the Christian cross aside they throw the spiritual armour of the Christians into the mirror magic of the pool that's mirror magic because they've tricked us into becoming Ireland you're not supposed to name the place where, the, where we live in is called Galatia. God says they name their countries after themselves. So you have the Germans, which is the tribe. But these were all tribes that existed in Galatia. Germans, Germans they were called. Um, um, Oisines, um, English, Anglo-Saxons. They named their countries after themselves, which is in the front of God, because God calls the place Galatia, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you. You're not supposed to name the countries after yourselves. You're not supposed to call them Franks, Germany, Switzerland. You're supposed to call it Galatia. Oh foolish, you are tribes that live in Galatia, not country. So now they switch it around the countries that are in Europe. That's witchcraft. You're in Galatia. That's what it's called by the apostle. That's what was recognised as you're in Galatia. This is in Gay land. Gay land, the Gaels, the Gauls, the Germans. They're all part of the Galatians. If you live here now and you're a black fella, a yellow fella, a white fella, you're a Galatian. You're not supposed to name your pla the places where you live after tribes. Germany's named after tribes. Switzerland's named after a tribe. It's all magic. It's all foreign influences to subdue you and do this to you. That's the that's the that's the goal. They're not hiding it either, but they are hiding it in plain sight because they lie to you and you believe their lies. They've divided us to conquer us. You see? Have a look. And know thyself and know your enemy. There's the rock, you see them towers, you have to fill them towers with salt, have salt and new salt is good for you. We've been tricked. God bless, Brother Jack, over and out. Have a lovely, lovely day, and you know what it says in the Bible as well? You shall not suffer a witch to live. I got a job for you, which is... 
You're gonna fill my ditches. I'm gonna burn you bitches. I'm gonna steal your riches. I got a job for you bitches. You're gonna fill my ditches. I'm gonna burn you bitches. I'm gonna steal your riches. Bow selector.